New Delhi, India is a large and fascinating city to visit. Join me on this tour of some of its tourist sites. The city is located in central northern India. It's long figured in the media and popular literature as shown by this book, Twilight in Delhi by Ahmed Ali. This early 19th century engraving indicates that there wasn't quite as much in New Delhi as there is today. It really has grown. The capital was moved by King George V from Calcutta to Delhi in 1911. A planned city was undertaken and in 1931, New Delhi was inaugurated. It's a wonderful example of uh, planned uh, development by engineers and architects on a site where they were free from all restrictions. It took 19 years to build, and these are the uh, Indian stamps celebrate some of the new buildings. Let's take a look at some of the buildings in New Delhi. This early postcard, maybe 1931, celebrates the Secretariat building that had been constructed. An early picture postcard of the National Physical Laboratory. And a press release from 1981 celebrating uh, New Delhi. And a stereogram that celebrates the, uh, I think it's the Viceroy's uh, Palace that later became the President's building. This was known as the Viceroy's House until 1950, but then became the Palace of the Rastratrapi Bhavan, or the President's official residence. It gets lots of coverage in popular ads, such as this early Bank of America ad with the gentleman walking towards the palace. The uh, amount of open space and landscape architecture is impressive in New Delhi. You can certainly tell it's a planned city. The area is called the Raj Path. Here's the uh, North Block in Racina Hill, housing the Home Ministry and the Indian Ministry of Finance. The Parliament of India. Media releases used to be given out to newspapers in the form of black and white photographs with the caption on the back. Here's an early media release celebrating the growth of New Delhi with many new multi-story buildings And there's certainly lots of beautiful hotels, as shown by an early picture postcard of the Taj Mahal Hotel. Not the same as the one in Mumbai. Some of the hotels are magnificent, such as this uh, lobby of the Changa La near Connaught Place. New Delhi is embarking on a modern 
transport system. New buildings near the Connaught Circle. Smog and pollution is bad in Delhi, like many large cities. Connaught Circle, built by the British, is a real shopping area. Connaught Circle at night. This early picture postcard celebrates the building of India Gate remembering Indians who had died in the First World War and the Afghan Wars. India Gate is still a monument today that receives a lot of respect. Raj Ghat, a black marble memorial to Mahatma Gandhi. Foreign dignitaries are frequently um, visitors to the site to lay flowers, and visitors are asked to remove their shoes before approaching. The Akshardham Temple to World Peace only recently opened in November 2005 by the President of India after five years of around-the-clock uh, construction. It's said to be the mo most intricate and largest temple uh, for worship that had been built. Owned by the Baha'i faith, this is called the Lotus Temple, and attracting 50 million visitors a year, it's one of the world's uh, most visited structures. The Lakshmanarian Temple, built in 1622, has many shrines, fountains, and a beautiful garden. It attracts thousands of devotees on Lord Krishna's birthday annually. Hinduism is the most popular religion in New Delhi. The Jama Masjid temple was built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in 1656 and is probably the principal mosque in Old Delhi. Red Fort is the principal tourist attraction in Old Delhi. Built in the uh, traditional style of the Mughal emperors, it's got mammoth walls, palaces, and mosques. The Daiwaniyam is a large and magnificent hall used for public gatherings by the Mughal emperors. It's all done in marble. One of the mosques in the Red Fort. <laughs> 